and Mali's military rulers have said they postponed their first meeting over the transfer of powers due to organizational reasons, almost two weeks after removing former President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita in a coup. The coup plotters had invited civic groups, political organizations and former rebels to consultations on Saturday, but said in a statement that the meeting was postponed uh, to a later date. The army officers have promised a transition to civilian rule, though without a timetable. Hours after taking power, they had said that they would stage elections within a reasonable time. The June 5 movement, an opposition coalition that in recent months had organized large protests against Keita, had not been invited to participate in Saturday's meeting. The protest coalition has demanded that military rulers give it a role in the transition to civilian rule. The 15-member economic co community of West African state ECOWAS regional bloc suspended Mali from its institutions, shut borders and halted financial flows with the country following Keita's overthrow. On Friday, it told the military of officers that they must transfer power to a civilian-led transitional government immediately and hold elections within a year. In exchange, ECOWAS committed to lifting sanctions gradually as the coup leaders complied with its demands. And we're now joined by Titiani Togola, CEO to Wun to Windy from Mali and Imo Edit, a journalist based in Senegal. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I, I'm going to start with Mr. Togola. According to the ECOWAS envoy, Keita is no longer interested in power. Is this a true representation or he was coerced by his captors? Oh, I think um, he, the president Keita himself says that he you know, he no longer want to come back to the power. So he's no longer a president in, in, in Mali. And um, of course, the way he have been taken from the power is still being for us a coup d'etat. But uh, has he keep himself saying that um, he, he decided to leave um, freely the power? So this is what he said. <laughs> This is his talk. <laughs> okay, but so you, so you can't tell whether it is out of coercion or because he truly has decided to let go. Sorry, can you repeat? Sorry, uh, you can't you can't tell if it is or if you know his statements are coming out of coercion or he truly has decided to let go. Yeah, I think it, we cannot say that very clearly because the way things has happened, it's a little bit complicated to, 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 to say that. The only thing that we can notice here is to observe that the president uh, decided to leave the power and, um, and uh, ECOWAS has uh, tried to take him back to the power, but unfortunately he, he said, no, he will, not, okay. he will not come back. So this is a... This is the situation for now. He is now uh, free. He is back home and uh, and safe. All right, Imo uh, t Tell us how realistic uh, the twelve months ultimatum issued by ECOWAS really is. I, I see it, um, it. It may be challenging for the junta because already there were speculations that they wanted uh, to be there three years to be able to fix the issues in Mali. Uh, for, for one year, um, it may be difficult, though there are, there are clauses that may see the one year being extended. And from what we know here is the fact that the coalition and the June 5 members, uh, they don't really care about whether it is one year, two years or three years. All they want is for the problem and issues in Mali to be identified and fixed before any election is held in that country. So uh, there is a possibility that there may be an extension an extended um, the period beyond the one year. I don't see the one year holding any waters. Okay, and um, I, Mr. Togola, do, do you also feel the military is now overreaching itself by choosing to stay in power for three years? Yeah, um, the, the thing is, the military says that they, nothing is now fixed. But the truth is, they they make a, a, you know, a proposition to, to ECOWAS to be... Um, you know, to conduct the, the, the transition during three years. So ECOWAS rejected this, that proposition and uh, ECOWAS want them to, to, to do a, a transition in one year. Then they, they come back with a second proposition for two years. And now the thing is they are now discussing with the different, uh, different political stakeholders to, um, to, to come up with a, a specific debt. But my own point of view is that this transition 
can be done in, in one year because the transition don't need to, to fix all the problem. The transition has for main goal to take the country back to the, you know, the, the a, a rule of law, you know, the state should come back to a rule of law and this should be the first, the, the first, uh, the first goal of, of the, the transition. So um, one year is realistic, according to me. Um, but for now, they are discussing with the different political stakeholders to define what can be the, 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 the right date. And, and another thing that I feel is very important that everyone is also looking out for is the reaction of the people. So what are the people saying? Are they okay with the move by the hunter? You know, when we talk today about people in Mali, this, this notion is like complicated because M5, people, M5 movement said that they are the people of Mali and so we have other group uh, saying that they are the people of Mali. So, but in, if we take a general uh, observation, many, many people uh, the, independently from the political polarization or coloration think that Mali needs um, a more rigorous country and uh, they think military are, are the one who can, who can do that. So, um, of course, we don't want military to, 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 to stay longer on the, on the, on the, to the power. But uh, unfortunately, many think that because of all the bad governance, the military are, are like a kind of solution, kind of uh, consensual uh, approach. So, yeah. And of course, uh, back to Imor, Edet, um, what would you say is the guarantee, if any, that the military will leave in three years? And if they choose to continue to hold on to power, what, what then can ECOWAS do? Well, I think just like Mr. Togela has mentioned, three years will be way too long for the military to be in power. Uh, we all want the military to, you know, rapidly arrange whatever they need to put together and, and leave and, you know, give a government within the shortest possible time. Uh, for one year, uh, we may see more sanctions. Uh, we may see the ECOWAS uh, taking another step. Don't forget they are meeting uh, first week of September in Nigeria Republic to determine uh, you know, the conclusion from the meeting they had last week and uh, the step forward. It's, it's gonna be a very dicey situation for ECOWAS in this regard because ECOWAS for me had all the time in this world to have resolved the issues before the junta came in. I mean, in, in some of the protests, uh, we heard from, uh, uh, from the popular uh, Imam, Imam Biko, and he clearly warned uh, Ibeka, as he's called in Mali, to listen to the voice of the people and do the needful. I mean, the Imam saw this coming, he knew all of this was gonna happen. And that's why he had decided to just lay low and allow the whatever will happen to happen. He sent the warning earlier. But I think um, the president really, he didn't listen. And as a result of that, we have what we, what we are seeing on the ground now. So ECOWAS will find itself in a very dire situation and they may not want to go against the wishes of the people, just like Mr. Togulo mentioned earlier. Now, for the M5, they say they are the people, but they are also people who are not in support of what you know, the M5 uh, and other coalitions are doing. Yeah. You know? So it's a dire situation. We can only hope that, uh, you know, the military will be able to uh, conclude its meeting with the different coalitions and political parties and fix a date for the election, even within the one year frame. Imar Edet and of course, uh, Tidiani Togola, thank you both for speaking with us. Looking forward to having another conversation with you. Thank you for having us.